not a sport. It's somebody trying to hurt me and take away what I've got. And I don't like them. I don't want to be around them. And when I am around them, I just want to do them damage. And, and that's just the mentality that I've got that, that drove into me. But when I'm away from boxing, I, I'm easy going. I, I'm a good person, I like to believe. And uh, I'm just normal. I'm just the same as everybody else on the street. From like I always say, from a taxi driver to the guy working in that shop to a barmaid working in that pub, I'm just the same as everybody else. It's just that I happen to be punching people in the face for a living. That's the only difference, but I'm just the same as, as yourself and everybody else. Oliver Addison said to me yesterday, if I stay in this left leg, you're going to do your next left. Oliver Addison said to me yesterday, I can't believe when I spend time around you, you're the same person that I see around you when it comes close to fight nights. And he says, you the must be one of the most intimidating, nastiest, ferocious people I've ever seen. And I, I told him, I said, I'm, I'm just like you, mate. Do you like people saying that about you? No, listen, it's... I don't know. I don't know what they're seeing because I don't see them there now. Yeah. I sort of had an awkward glance earlier on, yeah. and the mirror caught you yeah. naked in the shower, and you've got the whitest backside I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, don't worry, it's all good. But listen, <laughs> I was talking about. Forget the quiff. It's not a patch on that quiff. We're trying to sort out here. Are you here. trying to be like him? We're going to sort out here. He wants a he wants don't a money annoy, talk. Don't annoy me. Listen, we're going for a chat. And this chat does not involve you. He's breaking my ribs as he's saying it. You know what I'm I mean? He's like, we're going for a chat. We're going for the talk and you are going to tell... We're going to, we're going to discuss terms here. Because I'm not happy see, about this conversation. I have the best talks with Ed. We just... Everything just goes really smooth. But we're, we're going I to used talk, to. What we're going to talk about now, where we're going to eat. So where are we going to eat? Nando's? No, no, no. We're not going to eat. Do you know what? He had a problem with... Oh, he just had a problem with me for not coming to Canada. said to me, he said to me, that's a white man's hair, because he said to me, does he not... That was off camera. Said, it doesn't matter if it's off camera. It's, it's a bit racist. Now, isn't it's it? not racist, is it? Well, what? So so white people should have certain haircuts? Yeah, that's what he's saying, isn't he, basically? But then, but then... but it's bad no, for me, let, let, let me finish. The, I also said to him, but I've got the same haircut as you, so yeah, this is me. a bit weird now, yeah, because... I, this is a bit weird, because what are you? I'm half and half. I'm like a, a. I don't know what I am. I'm, I'm like a fried rice boiled rice. I, I know what I am. You're just a mixed up individual. That's what I believe you are. Wow. You're confused, Coogan. You are confused. From a race perspective or a sexuality perspective? Every single perspective of life. I mean, what kind of man comes around with a beard and a haircut like that? He looks like a Yeti with a baseball top on. I know, that's not that a rascal. than you for not attending Canada. I am your one of your longest serving members. You disgrace of a man. I am disgusted. Eddie pays you £500 a week. You could have at least got the airfare to get over there. That's disgraceful. Now, there's my... Okay, what, what about this guy coming to your fight. backyard again? Listen, I, I, this is what I want to touch on. It comes to my... It was going to Sheffield, Johnny. I was happy for it to happen on neutral ground. No, you wasn't. You didn't like... You didn't like the fact that it was You did not like that fact that it was in Sheffield. Did I sign Sheffield. for it? You did not did like the Did I sign fact. for it? You didn't. I signed you for didn't. it. I signed for it. You did not if like you that get, fact, you, Johnny, if you get Edward around here... He, he moaned, he sucked because it wasn't in Liverpool initially. I know. No, I know. Edward, you clear this up, please. Where are you, Edward? Stop hiding. No, 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 no. The fact is... I signed for Sheffield. It's not my fault you can't sell two tickets in Cardiff. It's not it's my fault. Boys, 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 boys. Let me just step in. Talk is cheap. Let me just Let's just shake and get this final. No, no. Let's just shake no, and get this final. No, no, Come on, man. It's no, a, it's I won't. I refuse. No. Let's have a head to head. No. I'm happy to stand here and look at you all day, mate, because yeah. the eyes don't tell lies. Yeah. The eyes never lie. The eyes never, <sighs> ever lie. lie. The eyes never lie, mate. Yeah, it's never like it. This looks interesting. I'm gone. The most vicious eye you will ever see me. Believe you me. Believe you me. Believe you me. Believe you me. What are you going to do? Believe you me. What are you going to do? I don't need to do nothing. 22nd November. I'm going to do something. I'm going to make you disappear. Let the little fellow in. Go on, boys. Let the little fellow in. Okay. You were just a fat, heavyweight. Cruiserweight athlete. Fat, heavyweight. Fast them, boys. Fat, heavyweight. Cruiserweight athlete who fights super middleweight. Well done, boys. Well done. Cruiserweight athlete who fights super middleweight. Okay, we're going to get a card now. Let's get a card now. I'm just a fat guy who's thinking about cake. So all that's on my mind is getting a cake. The fat kid who loves cake, aren't I? Nice picture, doesn't it? It is. Look like you've just been in a war. Yeah. Usually the way with me. Hello, how are you, Tony? Soon to be British champion as well. I'm fantastic. I'm in great shape. I've got a fantastic gang of people and crowd behind me. As you've heard, there's just a weigh-in. Everything's gone well. It's gone to plan. Just got to get in and do the business now.
think you won the stare out with over McKenzie there. He walked away, didn't he? He walks away, mate, because I'd walk away if I was facing somebody like me as well. You know, this is what happens. This is, you know, it's first and foremost a business. But I look beyond that. I'm vicious. I'm a nasty person when I get inside the ropes. And right now, you know, I feel like I'm about to get inside the ropes. So I'm ready to do a job and I'm itching Tony, to go. You've come out publicly and yes. sort of defended Tyson Fury uh, since winning the unified heavyweight yeah. world titles and but a lot of the focus has gone after what's happened. W what's your take on it? My take on it is to disgrace the way the media have built him up to knock him down. Uh, the guy's just defeated the heavyweight champion of the world. Let him have his moment. That's my opinion on it. He had the exact same views 12 months ago. I'm pretty sure he said them on camera too and no one gave a shit. He's made his views known again and all of a sudden the world's kicking up a fuss. The man lives by the Bible, just leave him in peace, let him enjoy his moment. He's not hating no one, you know. I, I've got certain views, like I said, I think I said live on here the other day, I believe paedophiles should be executed. I fucking stick by my views, I don't care what anyone says. What are you going to do, lock me up for it? That's my views, and I'll stand right by them. I believe they should be executed, publicly if, if it should be known. But they're my views, and I'm entitled to them. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to them! <laughs> me on world now. That's all right, it's got to be. Fancies me, don't he? Try right, with, with me, I've got Tony the Bomber Belly, I've just weighed in uh, for the fight against Roberto Bellotti. Everything's spot on there, Tony. Great, I woke up half a pound under the weight this morning, had a protein shake. Uh, I feel great, mate, on the money. Uh, I'm finally in his head now, he, he responded to I got the reaction out of him that I wanted. I said something to him in Spanish and uh, I got the reaction that I wanted. Can you tell us what you said in Spanish or is it too X-rated for iFilm London? Dolore. Let you and work that out yourself. He gave you the throat slitting signs? Yeah, the only person who's going to end up with a cut throat is him. How difficult do you think this test is going to be for you tomorrow, Tommy? Every test difficult. He's a good fighter. He's WBC number five. He's come with a lofty ranking, but he's going to go home without it. So I know what I've got to do. Uh, this is a good hard fight, but listen, I'm going to do a job. Oh no, Tony's an idiot or Tony's a gobshite. Yeah, Tony is a gobshite, but ultimately, Tony's himself, and I can't be something I'm not. He does what he wants to hate me, and I want to hate him. There's no shaking of the hand, there's no let's get on, it's just a sport, no, it's personal to me. Everyone's, it's just business, it's not personal, it's, fuck, it's as personal as it gets. He wants to stop my dreams and it's not fucking happening. Someday I become world champion, simple as that. I'm sorry for swearing, I, I, I like you to bleep them, I'm trying a new image where I do not swear. I'm not bleeping I'm anything. I'm trying to fucking keep it together. You fucking keep it together. And I remember phoning, phoning Eddie going, What's happening here? And he's he's crying, laughing on the phone. I'm, and I'm just thinking, what is what? There's what's the game here? Come on, come on. This is a good platform to put something out here. Publicise the game, you know. Put it out there on free TV. And you're putting on nonsense like that. David's a hundred levels above him. He really, really is. David, hey, you know the best way to it. David wouldn't use him as a sparring partner. That's a fact. That is an absolute fact. The guys I've had in for sparring for this fight are, are, are a similar level to Makabu. Top level guys who I've had to pay a lot of money for. And let me tell you, that is making a mockery of boxing that show. Like I say, all has been missed was Hulk Hogan running to the ring and doing a drop kick. Or the, the, what was the, the move? He used to do the drop leg on, on your neck. He used to like sit down and sit down with his leg on your neck for that move. Great move. But well, that's all we were missing. Him or Stone Cold Steve Austin to come running down and stun us someone. It was just, it was ridiculous, mate. And, and you know, like I say, I'm a, I'm a David, David, I'm a David Hay fan. Ultimately, David can fight. David can punch. He's one of the most dangerous heavyweights in the world. But please, mate, don't con us with that stuff. That was nonsense. Was a big cruiserweight, really, son. I don't really think this. Everyone's going on with this heavyweight issue and stuff like that. Can you name me one real big heavyweight David's beaten besides that? The circus act in value of. I mean, that's his best win a heavyweight. I mean, that fella didn't belong in a boxing ring. He belongs in a circus. He looked like Lurch times two. Uh, and then after that, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's just, I don't think he's really beaten any top heavyweight, really. Uh, he danced round value of. He danced round Glitch going on his chance. And forget about past day, mate, in the history. At the end of the day, David's dimensions are the same as mine. He's six foot three. With that hair, cause he's about six foot six. Oh, um, I think he just tried to get in my face today and intimidate me and, and put panic in me. I just wanted to get him on my face and tell him a few untruths. Why he's thrown a punch at me, I will never know. But I'll tell you something now.
the punch hit me on the side of the jaw and if that's the best you've got lad I swear without gloves on you better bring something else because if I hit you without gloves on you'd still be asleep now I've got no intention of doing that I'm trying to carry myself and carry this sport the best way I possibly can I'm a professional athlete and I'm a businessman I'm not a thug and today he's just behaving acted like a thug he just hey, I've just realised you're on Twitter you little shit you better follow me because I know you I actually know you so you better follow back I've been with my friends there you know Known them a long time, taking the piss out of me behind them there. Did they come to Canada? They you? actually went to Canada. They done something you didn't do, Coops. They went to Did Canada. Did you watch him get flattened by a Stevenson? Stevenson? Yeah, I went to watch Stevenson. He happened to be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just, he's just no, leaving me in the thing. Didn't he? You know where, Coops? <laughs> get the camera up, you moron. <laughs> Let me jab you now. You couldn't fucking. No, actually, something happens to you. Like your rib get broke or something. Right. But, um, yes, listen. they came to Canada. Come to Canada. Proper belly fan. You know, he, he's a he's <laughs> pretend soldier. His name's Robert. Oh, what's this gonna be? And he is a milkman. <laughs> yeah, is he your milkman? No, I'm not, not his milkman. milkman he's no. milkman. Oh, <laughs> yeah, disgusting, sure. mate. It's fucking disgusting. Listen, I've said for a long time, and I'll say it again, we've got a big, big problem with drugs in professional boxing. We've got a problem. A lot of people are on drugs, mate. And it's fucking disgusting. Because this isn't a 100 metre race where you run the race and you win and that's it. Lives are at risk and there's fellas taking drugs and steroids. You know who you all are. And you know the worst thing is, a lot of the fighters know who you are. It's not, it's not rocket science to see you're on drugs. We all know who's on drugs and we know who's not. It's fucking disgusting. You know, what, listen, there's lives at risk. So if, you, if you're on drugs, you get into a boxing match and you kill a man in the ring, you should go to jail for murder. Because you took them drugs, that's premeditated. You thought about doing that, it's all planned. And you thought about going in and causing damage to that man, but you were on drugs, you had an unfair advantage over the man you were fighting. Because, you know, not everyone's on drugs, but there is, like I said, a lot of people on drugs in professional boxing. These guys aren't just gaining pounds and pounds of muscle. When professional bodybuilders can't gain that amount of muscle in that short space of time, the clean ones, because you have clean bodybuilders as well, you have bodybuilders who do it clean, and they can't gain two, three stone of muscle in two years. It's not possible. But professional boxers are doing it and then training like maniacs on the cardio while they're doing it as well it's not possible it doesn't make sense and anybody out there who knows about fitness and bodies and the way the body recovers and the way the body grows muscle and, and, and maintains it they all know it's not possible too so you guys who are on drugs you know you are you cheating horrible bastards i don't need no fucking squad so you know that's just that. <laughs> I don't need no squad. <laughs> right. I'm always here. I ain't no boy. I ain't no boy. Listen, I ain't no boy. I ain't no boy. I'm a grown ass man. 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 I've dealt with I've dealt with the most second most dangerous heavyweight in the world already. I don't need to fear no one. You ain't dealt with this power though. Listen, I dealt with someone more powerful than you. I dealt with someone more powerful than you. On my mother, on my kids, you ain't dealt with this power. On my kids, he's more powerful than you. David's more powerful than you. David's more powerful than you. He fought one leg, man. He is. He fought one leg, man. I guarantee you. He fought one leg. Yeah. He didn't have one leg in that first half round. I dealt with him. I dealt with him. You know what separates me from all the heavyweights? Tell me about it. How I knock a motherfucker out. You, you know what separates me? Not only me? have I broke, you know what not only me? have I broke sockets, not Jeez. only have I broke bones, but I done made them, I done made them seize on the ground. I done made them set there. Are, are, you, are you trying to scare you or no, scare I'm me? I don't scare people. I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't, I don't care what the hell you don't know what you don't. I don't come in. You just a man boxing, with two arms, boxing two legs. My brain, boxing brain is far better than yours. Because, because I like to whoop an ass that ain't, that ain't scared. Oh, I like to whoop a fresh That sounds great. I don't want to whoop nobody. Let's not fight. Let's not fight. That sounds great, but at the end of the day, my boxing brain is far better than yours. So you gay. And I don't think I know. I beat the man. Everybody say that. Everybody do. But I just, I just, that make no, 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 that no, 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 no,
you you happy for yourself? I don't. I don't. I promise you. I'm just staying in the heavyweight division, brother. I'm just staying in the heavyweight division. I'm happy with it. Stay in the heavyweight division. Chill, chill, chill. We will put you in like a gang. We will put you. We'll beat you in. I love it, but listen, I just want to mind because this division right here is different. And I just spun them out. It's not. It's nothing like. Why did? Why did? Why did you? Why didn't you call David's name? Why didn't you want to face David? I want champions. Then you hear me say, I want to unify. Once I unify, okay. everybody's okay. that's all everybody's yeah. weapon, bro. Everybody. You should have fought David. Hey, David why? was the man no one was calling. Why? I faced him. Why? I David wasn't calling me all you know, David wants to face the leg, bro. David wants to face the You got to know he's bigger with David. I was talking. I want to unify. They ain't going to sign no contract, bro. They can't talk. So if you want to unify, then why are you talking to me? Why would I? But you calling me? You yeah, talking to me? Calling you? Up. You said something about me you. first? No, didn't I said I don't need you no said something about you me first. Bumps all over I'm the just, I'm just making man, myself. Your man, man's, your man's made it hot for you. 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 It wasn't a bomb, baby, because a bomb exploded. Brother, I was a, I was a bomb way before him. You can't. I was the bomb way before him. You can't even beat me. Brother, you come to get to my brother, bro. Listen, do you? You stay long all day long. All day long, you'll get it. No, it's a few years away. All day long, you gonna hear about me, baby boy. You getting knocked out all day long. You can't even beat me. You got the rubber. Little rubber. You getting knocked out. You a history lesson. I was the bomber before, 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 before he even laced on. Go, 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 go get some food. Go check about me. Go check about me. I was the bomber. Go eat some food. And I fight inside the ring, baby. I fight my whole life. Be careful how you talk. You can't let me fight less than you talk to me. I don't give a fuck. I'm about me, baby. I've been living. I've been fighting since I was in France. I don't give a fuck. Hey, what up? We're not talking to you. We're talking to me. I'm a different guy. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're talking to what? the wrong boy. No, you you're talking, talking to the wrong boy. Talk to me. You Look at my me, eyes, but you don't see you nothing. Don't know me, you see nothing. What the fuck are you going to do? You ain't even me yet. You are not going to do nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. He irrelevant. You ain't going to do nothing. 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 You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, who the fuck are you? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Shut the fuck up, bitch. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? talking about fighting outside. Brother, listen, the money I earn, you better learn to fight where I fight. One by my favourite scarf, sir. Oh, thank you, favourite scouser. There's, a, there's a lot of scousers as well, be offended. I know, yeah, there is. I did say Danny Vaughan was my favourite scouser. Oh, okay, when a while did you ago. say that? Not that long ago, six months ago. Oh, well, but as you're fighting this week, yeah. Okay, so I'm the favourite on this week. <laughs> How are you? All right, mate. I'm here, I'm in London. Uh, I'd say I'm in the Lions then, but by the sounds of it, I'm in Pink Panthers then because the, the way this pussy's been going on. Oh, I've got this, is so that, so. I'm on a plane, Let, let's just get today over. Today's the last time I'll punch before I hit him in the face, and it's going to be his last day. Let's just hope. He doesn't turn up here and go, oh, something's hitting me, something's gone. Nothing's gone. The only thing that's gone is your ass. Like the Fiori fight. What did you make of his comments saying there? You would have I seen his comments. I, 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 honestly, I, someone told me he said he doesn't want to hurt a cruiserweight, but yet he's fighting a, a smaller cruiserweight than me. So it's, uh, it's, it's very funny. So, yeah, he was kind of a... It was a from Fury anyway, it was a heartfelt message to kind of a warning to you not to oh, fight was him. Was it? Was it, what, it was a heartfelt? I love Tyson Fury, he knows I do. But uh, I would definitely punch him in the face with talent gloves on, really hard. And I punch him much harder than Steve Cunningham did. We both know I hit him much harder than Steve Cunningham. We all know that. The only fucking embraces oh, for yeah, me, it's boy. nice, isn't it? Boxers coming together. Fuck off. Uh, Fuck what you friends. want to know, shit brick. Hey. You and your black hat. Coon I know it's black because I've got the real one. No, you haven't. I have got no, the you haven't. Go on, what's your Talks own? Talk to market. I know where you got Talks yours from, big no, boy. No, no market in talking now, it's finished. With people's attitudes as well, because everyone obviously thought you were going to get ironed out in a couple of rounds. Everyone tuned in and everyone paid to see me get ironed out in a few rounds, because that's what he's all believed. That's just a fact. I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm no, it's a, true. It's I'm a realist. True. I'm not a fantasist. It's everyone true. tuned in on March the 4th to see Tony Bell getting knocked clean out in two rounds. That's what you all thought, regardless of how you want to put it. Um, don't come at me with all this shit. I've, Oh, I bet money on you. I bet money on you. I won money on you. Mate, you're betting money on me because I was the only person worth betting on in the fight. You couldn't have bet on him because you'd have got about 10 pence back for your pound. So, you know, I'm not stupid. No one's fool.
especially David Hayes, as we've seen on Mars the Four. Guys, guys, we've got to bring the tables down. Can everybody step back, please? Because we've got to get a photo with Yeah, you can just go on your own, mate. Uh, 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 hey, don't you leave the boxer alone? Hey, there's no need for that. You fucking no. absolutely no need for that whatsoever, David. Are we swinging no. punches now? Are we swinging punches? No problem. No, no sure. problem. No, you put your face on me face. Yeah. Want to swing punches? No problem, David. No you're problem. Getting you're, you're getting knocked out. You're getting knocked out. That's how you swing punches. David, you're attacking punches. You want to swing punches? You want to swing punches? Listen, we all live in the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all live in the streets. Talk, 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 talk. You're a chump. You're a chump. You're getting KO'd. We will see now. Want to swing punches? You got in me face. I pushed you off me. You want to swing punches? You punch like a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going, I know, Tony. I promise you. Listen, now we're in the street now. Fuck all this media and press. Now we're in the street, kid. Now we'll see. You want to throw punches in the street, Sam? I'm good with that. No, 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 no. Just be done it. No, I'm going to do him now. You can go. We just killed two Quickly, what do you want now? We just gotta listen. Oh, David Hayes working on Saturday. I'd Scott. love to. Who gives a shit about that? I'd love to know who's here. Because I need you to do that thing. You know when you go through the ropes, no, but you pretend. Funny. You know when he went. You know when cleverly. He went through the ropes, but he, then he went. He went. You. Did, back you, see, back in it, did you see you had hold of me arm? The coach, and he's little, and he can, he can pull you back. He's stronger at a low centre of gravity. Uh, it's. I don't know. Who cares about him? It's not about him. No, well, you've got, you got to handle business first on Saturday. Yeah. But the good news is, is if we do make value against Hay, you've got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who you need to uh, repay the performance for, for the Cleverly fight. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> He's still talking about us two years ago. Listen, Cleverly's now world champ as well. Don't rule out number three. <laughs> Shouldn't make jokes on camera. <laughs> <laughs> He can't like conceive or perceive the way you actually mean that. He means that, to be honest as well. He's not playing. No, I don't. Not, not <laughs> if he playing. knew it would clear 400,000 <laughs> buyers, we would as well. Of course we'd clear it. We'd do with him. He's fucking, he's oh. the greatest salesman game. The great thing about him is he just used to talk <laughs> about it. I'm the greatest salesman. Yeah, but, yeah, you are. You, you, you're the best oh, salesman. Oh, what did you, you, no, he's the best scouse. So. Oh, what yeah. did you make of his uh, impressions the other day? We're talking about the man who sold me. I put money on Audley Addison. He sold me down the river. What'd you do that for? I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why I was very emotional after after our last one. Yeah. Which was fantastic because uh, you have to remember he's had to sit in a room on my behalf because I can't sit in rooms like this. So he he has to deal with it because if I go in a room and do business, I'm gonna hurt someone or, or throw something or attack something. So he has to deal with it because I could have dealt with it and I don't want him. He's the man he knows. Talking about negotiation. I oh, know. But listen, we've come a long way. We have. <laughs> he's, oh. been waiting to, he's been waiting to do this. this I've done this five times. He's got to do a live pay per view show. No, but I'm going to do it. I nearly no, done it when he was going to do it. When you're announcing you no, no, when you're announcing you were fighting again. And I was going to come into the interview and go, Tony, we're going again. I mugged him live on TV, just like that great moment. <laughs> I didn't should we reenact it? No, we should. Come on, let's reenact it. Go on. Come on, push Sorry, me off. You can't. No, can't do it. <laughs> no, you can't get off him. Hey, where's your like dad? That. Where's your dad? Where's your dad? Yeah. Just stand there a minute. We're going to reenact this. You stand there. You're my Stop dad. Stop it. You're my dad. Stop. Turn around. <laughs> get off, you fucking <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, just jump in on this one there quick. It's going to come to me, so what's up? What, 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 what party are you know, know, Do you know what? Since he beat the hair, No, you cracked it, don't you? And Oscar De La Hoya knows who That's you are. That's it. Unbelievable. He's just gone large. We were in the ring and he went to me, pointed at me, he pointed at me, he said, you? And he went like that and I went, and he pointed again and I looked behind me because I just thought Eddie was almost in there. And, and I went to him, me? And he went, just you. And then he walked over in the middle of the ring introduction and he spoke to me and he said, you're the champ, I watched your fight, that was a brilliant fight. You're a world class fighter. And I was like, 
he said it, and I didn't take, I didn't absorb it. So as he walked away, I said, "Can you come back?" I said, "Come back quick." I said, "I can't believe you even know who I am." And the worst to him was, "You're the champ." And then we just had this quick chat there, and, and I was just knew, him, and his words to me was, uh, "That's brilliant. What's your next fight? What do you want to do? Who are you going to fight next?" And I said, oh, "I don't know." I said, "That might be it." And he said, "Son, you cannot quit." He said, "I look in your eyes. You've got a lot of fight left in you." When Oscar De La Hoya's telling you've got a lot of fight left in you, start making fights, coach. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people do regard Tyson as the man to beat because he beat of course was the original the man, to, man to beat Klitschko. Of course, he's the man to beat. You know. But that doesn't make him the best. Hmm. I, I think he's the man to beat because yes, he beat Klitschko first. He's just beat Deontay Wilder in my opinion. But uh, oh look, you can be the man to beat, but does not make you the best heavyweight in the world. But the best heavyweight in the world is the man with all the belts. Is the man who brings usually all the money. Is the man who's the biggest draw in boxing. You know, potential. Well, uh, probably more Canelo, but. Uh, I don't know, mate. I, I just want to see the fights get made. I'm very skeptical on. On if, they, on if they will at the minute because I think there's so much money being thrown at these guys to not face each other uh, and I'm just not I, I just think they'd be happy I know, I know AJ's not happy because this guy's making mega money no matter what he can make even more than mega money if he faces one of them too mm. these guys are making great money that money they've never had before without him so it's like they're kind of thinking we're both making great money without him so let's just carry why, on why go there yeah, yeah why go there because they know yeah. Like I said before, if you're so confident, just fight him because you're going to be worth twice as the amount that you've ever been worth in your life. Who wins today in that fight if it was to happen today? Uh, Between uh, Joshua and Fury. I think Joshua is, uh, is nailed on. I've always said the same. I've always had the opinion. I think the only way to beat Tyson Fury is to get up close to him, be very, very powerful, and not care what's coming back. I think that's the only way to beat Fury. You can't get into a boxing match with Tyson Fury. He's going to outbox you. He could make you look stupid. So, in my opinion. The only man who's, who's technically good enough to get in front here and not care what's coming back is Anthony Joshua. Yes, Deontay Wilder could have got in front of him and, and swung for the light as we've seen, but technically he's not good enough to put the punches together to set Fury up. You know, just a simple thing of a double jab pushing him back, blind him with it, and then nail him with the right hand down the middle. We've seen him do it once or twice in the fight. Joshua will be doing that continuously. And he, he's not just doing that with poor technique, and he's not doing that with big ALO swings. He's doing that with precision and power and pure speed. Uh, you think he knocks Fury out? I think he stops him, yeah. I think he stops him. Right, Dylan White returns tonight with a win. He's been cleared by UK. Do I have a reaction to that from you? I'm, I'm being told to keep my mouth shut. And that's what I've been told. He must be pleased. But I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm a fuck no. <laughs> no, the man who tarnished Dylan White's name, you're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. Because no one's ever said, no, no, no. No drug organisation, no drug testing organisation, no, you can not. Father actually backed Dillian White in his case and said that he couldn't possibly have been on drugs to have passed our, our more stringent test three days before. And I knew this in the background, that's why I stood by him, because I knew it, he took a test three days previously by Varda and there's no one more stringent to test testing than Varda and I knew that's so all you assholes out there saying where's the B sample Bell you you're breaking why are you so old match room thing yo if I see a match room fighter fail a drug test with steroids I'll say you're the scumbag okay I'll say you're scumbag you shouldn't box again but I'm not going to see a man have his name tarnished by a journalist who's gone off fucking hearsay off hearsay he didn't fail a drug test that man, you know what pisses me off. For the man who tarnished his name, you should be ashamed of yourself. Because you've tarnished that man's name, it's unfair. It's like someone, I'm not going to say what I want to say. I could tarnish that journalist and say, he's something that he's not. And once you've tarnished a man, you're throwing off shit, some little stick. And he's done that and it's not fair. Matchup. <laughs> you versus him. Now, me. What? Size and stand, he's got a bad leg. Let me, let me size you up. He just, he just said fantasy matchup. Who wins out of you two? Johnny Nelson beats me up all the time. <laughs> he's got a bad leg. You, a prime belly against a prime Nelson. Why don't you fuck right off? What? When you shit in the coops. Fantasy match-up, you two are friends. You made 15 wells, how many fences? I made one. There you go, boots in the pot. 15 million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about that? Ward. Okay, yeah, what do you want to know? Good okay. fighter, isn't he? He's a good fighter. Calling himself the pound for pound king of boxing. So if I whoop him, what does that make me? Well, common sense would tell me, surely not, that you would be pound for pound. Imagine that. Uh, Fat boy from Liverpool is the pound for pound king of boxing. 
I don't know. Listen, uh, there's still a fair way to go, but but the teams are talking. Uh, Eddie has spoke to their side. Uh, I know Dre. I'm an admirer of Andre Ward. He was in the film together. Yeah, we was, and I've spent time with him. He's a very very nice guy. Uh, but do I agree with all his views? No, I don't. But I'm sure we'll talk more about that as it gets, as this dawns upon us. We'll see. There's a long way to go yet, and we've just got to keep doing what we're doing. What did you think about Virgil Hunter, Hunter mentioning Anthony Joshua after the, the Kovalev press conference? I was going to give him a slot on uh, the late show as I was like a comedian, but uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I dwarf him, never mind Joshua. I dwarf him and Joshua dwarfs me. So does that make him a super dwarf? Well, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? Super dwarf shouldn't play with super giants. Andy Bellew, we've just seen a 10th round stoppage of uh, Colin McGregor here by Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. What did you make of it? Exactly what I thought. Uh, it only went to 10 because I just need to carry them. Him. Should be very proud of himself, Conor McGregor, though. Showed an immense amount of balls, mate. Did you think for one minute Floyd Mayweather would get in the cage? He would have Floyd Mayweather in the building, and he wouldn't get in the cage. So if he got in the cage, it would be, the, it would be as one side as that was. He only won the first two rounds because he just stood there doing nothing and had a look at him. Pressured him, walked him down. Listen, it's an MMA fighter, Kuzmi is a boxer. Did he surprise you in any way, Connor? Obviously, he did win the first two, possibly three rounds. Just good luck. nothing, nothing. Good luck, good. His punching was horrendous. There was no technique in it. There was no weight in the punches. Is that exactly what you expected him to be like? He was. Yeah, but I'm just admit, but I'm not amazed when I want to watch the fight. I'm not amazed it went that far. I'm not joking. Floyd could have ended that in the first. Could have ended it in the first if he wants to. Carry them. No two ways about it. I just carry them. But but he, that, he, 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 he could literally carry Floyd in a cage. It's the exact same. Our sport has been show, shown so little respect to think a man can come from a totally different sport and even have a hope. It cooks. It's like someone saying him pro with no amateur experience. Okay, you fight in a cage and, and, and come and fight me. He should just laugh. Because of the build up, because of how entertaining he is, it's so good on him. Good on him. First time we've ever asked that. Absolutely, man. I know you don't take, I want a picture with you. Excuse me, you just take. There he is. I'm a massive fan, man. The greatest show on BBC ever. Thank you, Ross. I hope you do another one. Play school. He's the next um, <laughs> James Bond. Luther will kick your ass. Uh, mate, I can't believe just met uh, John Luther. Hello. Luther's boss, mate. My favourite ever show on, on TV. First time I've ever asked anyone for well. Second time I've ever asked anyone for a picture. I don't ask for pictures. But he's bossing. So did he sell that? There you go. Mate, string a bell. Nice. <laughs> 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 Come on, lad, brilliant fight. Well done. Yeah, totally. Did he hug you? No, it was an epic hug. He so, did hug you. So it's an epic hug. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a fight inside. You didn't need to be that fucking brave in there tonight, mate. That's proud of you, man. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Well done, Tony. Yo! What are you doing? Fucking, you're trading non-stop. You're fucking nuts, you are. No fucking me, Tom. I'll fight that wild. Alabama pussy, mate. I'll fight him. Pussy from Alabama. What's he doing? I hit him in the left first round, and I'm telling you, he's just heard on the Radio 5 Live. He said he hit me with the left hook in the first round, and I felt it. It made him wary about reaching. He couldn't get his range, and I knew it, lad. He just. I just. It's done, innit? What did we do now, lad? Fellini was with us, by the way. It's Fellini yeah, with his brother. Yeah, it's Sylvia. See, Gah. Where's and, Fellini and Sylv? And Distan as well. Yeah, Sylv's come over. I spoke to him. I got him his ticket for... Yeah. It's coming to the south of France. Gah. 
Uh, that'll be my phone answer. See where Sally is. See where Sally is. See where Sally is. Tell us if Sally can get back here. Why? What did you reckon? What did you think? No, I'm brilliant. Um, it's all right, lads. I was really. nervous, but um, just happy for him. Buzzing. Buzzing. Buzzing, bad lads. Evertonian, fucking. Two true blue with boiled blues. Champion of the world and. Goes up, await, and oh mate, can't keep doing this. It's David A. Who's one of the most powerful heavyweights. Was incredible. Was exactly. Well done, Thank you very well much, was. Thanks, well, mate. We're gonna get a rematch, Goodison. Um, that's what he wants. Ask him. Promote it. Wait, I didn't tell you it's a cope promotion. I'm referee. Seriously, what are you thinking of the fight? We're both brave, man. I'm gonna get a shot. Alright, guys. We're gonna. Tony, aren't you got to do that drug stuff? He fought with them and showed his power. So. Do you expect him to win? Honestly. No, I thought it went past five rounds. I thought Tony would win. So. Just slightly. It will, after it went past five rounds, after it went past five rounds, I was expecting him to win. Cheers, thanks, mate. Oh, how are you doing? Yeah, what a night. Are you okay? Yeah, what a night. I'm so proud of it to me. Yeah. What a night. Brilliant. What was it like for last night, Rob? It's horrible, honestly. <laughs> when you see that video, you miss it. Do you know what? It's, it's, it's worse. Like, I, I know something, but I don't know. Obviously. It's just to, like, it's, it's horribly hard. Beating us, obviously, we're all there and we're going to win. But after the first round, I was thinking, this can't go on. <laughs> But I'm no, I'm a, a, a genuinely we were so relaxed going in that ring because I know he's my mum. Have you got a bit of 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 a when you're watching it, it's hard. It's, it's hard to watch. It's probably harder for, for, for us than yeah. it is for you. Obviously, you know what's going on. Yeah. So, but no, it was brilliant. You enjoyed it. I'm so happy for him. Brilliant. So, just a sweet night. Yeah. And he's done what he said he'd do. Yeah. That's it. He's done exactly what he said he'd do. That's it. I know. Get ready for next one. When are you having a fight, man? Sorry? When are you having a fight again? When are you having a fight again? <laughs> <laughs> when you put your camera on. <laughs> <laughs> right, maybe I'll keep it rolling while I walk yeah. out. Tony Belly and Paulie Malinaji. Coogan, did, did we join you or did you join us? <laughs> I'm so happy someone else said that one. Brooklyn and Liverpool, stand up. Coogan Cassie has been annoying boxing since 2010. <laughs> wow. Right, Johnny, Johnny Nelson said yesterday he's a thousand percent convinced that Joshua will win the rematch. A thousand percent. Do you want to know something else Johnny said in the dressing room about 20 minutes ago, about, about two hours ago? What? Johnny said, this guy who's fighting tomorrow, he's a really durable guy, but he's chinny. <laughs> I am feel. Yes. Uh, yes, him. He's up for a fight with you. Of course he is. Of course he is. Mr. Yusek. Listen, he come out, he called me name, uh, and I always answer the phone, mate. When you call me, I always answer. So I'll answer. I accept the challenge. I accept the challenge. Eddie's made contact with your guys. Let's do it. What's happened in the last week then to kind of progress this then? Him calling me, officially. Okay. Him saying, Bellew, I see you. Bellew, I am feel. Is this all you're focused on Alexander, now? Alexander, I am feel too. <laughs> is this all you're focused on now? That fight with you, sir? I say that's all I'm focused on, that's not very fair, but... I'm, I feel like it's, 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 it's the fight that I like, because everyone writes me off again. Uh, everyone says I've got no chance. And ultimately, I, I'm willing to chase greatness. I win this, mate, no one's ever done what I've done. No one's ever done that before. A lot of people think that there's no chance that you'll win this fight. A lot of people think there's no chance I'll even take it, never mind winning. <laughs> True. So, True. let's see. 
Do you know them same people? Said David, they knocks me out inside two rounds. Them same people said I get blitzed in the rematch when David is calm and relaxed. Them same people have been writing me off, said I'll never win a world title. Them same people said I'm crap. And they still do now, they make excuses. First time I beat a man on only one leg. Second time I beat an old man. I got lucky at Goodison Park. I got lucky here for the European title. I always get lucky. Harder to train the luckier to get. Is it only at Cruiserweight for all them titles I that appeal to you? I don't want anything else. What's the point in fighting him a heavyweight? Why? So people can then say, oh, well, Bell, you had to drag him up in weight and he couldn't really beat him at the... Ra no. He's made his name a Cruiserweight. He's got all the belts, all the marbles, yet he calls my name. Do you know why he calls my name, Coogan? Go on. Because when I left the heavyweight division just under two years ago... Cruiserweight division. Cruiserweight division two years, just under two years ago. If you remember, my statement was, I, when I'm leaving this division, I am the best cruiserweight in the world. He was still fighting eight and ten rounders, so he weren't champion yet. So when I left, I was the best cruiserweight in the world. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what their opinion is. I was, the, and, and it proves I was right, because why is he calling me the minute he's just won all the belts? Why does he call me? Because he still thinks that I was the best cruiserweight in the world, and he, he feels like he has to beat me to solidify his reign. And he does because I knocked out the man who no one wants to touch in Alonga Macabu. I knocked out the man who everyone was scared to face in David Hay. Do you remember the build-up to the first David Hay fight, Coogan? Well, Do you yeah. remember how everyone said I was getting absolutely starched? Do you remember how everyone Yes, yeah, so I, I, I very... Do you remember everyone laughing at me when I said I'm going to retire him? Do you remember everybody laughing at me when I said you'll see when it happens in the rematch again? Yes. You all laughed at me. So... You know, just keep laughing. Because the only one who's laughing now is me. I, I'm, I'm laughing my head off. So keep right me. No, I still don't know. Gave it a bit of my heart. No excuses. Lost to the great champion, great fighter. Best fighter I've ever faced. I'll be listening tonight, so while I'm only world class, which I proved, uh, he's elite level. So it is what it is, mate. You just got to accept it, take it on the chin. I'm very honest in my opinion with everything, I think. And uh, great champion. Great, great fighter, but I knew that. I knew Spartan him in Ukraine years ago. He was a great champion. Uh, I didn't think he'd, he'd get to me though. I didn't think he could hurt me, and that's been me undoing. That was me undoing. So, like I say, I can't even remember the punch that got me. What was it? Left hook. Was it? I think so. Stiff hitter. It's hard, stiff, just quite stiffly. And I, I didn't think I, I thought I got stopped on my feet, but I obviously never. I didn't even get off the floor, I'm told. 
Not he did eventually get up, but yeah, he kind of went back into the ropes. I don't remember. Like I said, fair play means I lost to the Brazilian champion. Heartbreaking, but what you do? What can I do? I'm the first one to say there's more to life than boxing. There is more to life than boxing. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show that now the rest of my life that I've got ahead of me. Uh, Everything's in place for, for me, family and my kids and my wife to have a boss life. Yeah. And for me to stay out of this game and just remain Anthony forever. And Tony's dead. Tony died tonight, mate. Tony Bell, you died tonight. I'm Anthony, so that's who I am. And it's over. I'm going now. Oh, Alright, we're going. No, we are. We've just I'm finished. Going anyway. right uh, finished. Tony Bellew. Cougan Cassius. Start that again. Anthony Bellew. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Thank you. Thank you for giving me coverage over the last... No, it's not it's for us to thank you for that. Not no, well, you, you've got it out there. You, you, I mean, you, you refused my first ever interview. I didn't, but you'll stick to that, so I'll stick to my version of it. But That's what I tell people. Yeah, I when didn't. I've never, even refused, I've never refused an interview in my life. I've but I understood the situation. I've been told I can't. You told Anthony, Tony... You can't. And you can't do that. So I do understand. But I've you've never done since then, so that's all good. But I never refused it. No, no. So you can kiss my ass, Goose. But thank you very much for all you've done. And you're still doing for boxing. You're doing great. And although, yes, it's your job and stuff like that, your job doesn't demand you stay here till half past two in the morning. You could have easily left. So, so could you be here? Yes, I you could, could have, have left 20 minutes, half hour ago as well. I know I could have made, but you know, I'm trying to just sit, let people see that uh, I've got a little bit more humility than that and just want to say thank you. That's basically what I can say. Everyone who's watching this, thank you very much. Your support was brilliant. Uh, I have no excuses. I've tried to be the best I could be. I faced the best that there has possibly ever been in this division and I fell short. But. I gave it everything I had and I can live with myself for that so thank you and good night and keep listening and watching IFL TV sponsored by NTK Global Global Top man.